Our regular property modeling working within our proprietary grid. It's a small part of a well-developed oil field located at the northeast of China. The area is 4 km by 2.6 km by 50 m thick. For false and fair horizons, once you have a structural model, you can build continuous or discrete property models like fishes or lethality models. Let's see different fishes for each zone. You can assign lithologies directly from our default lithology library, which is subdivided into sedimentary, metamorphic, and volcanic categories. The user can easily create custom lithologies as well. Here we have defined a channel system with lava rock lithology. Continuous property models can be populated with well logs and use the GIS lab of Stanford University. Here is the resulting porosity model. And the 2D sections. With depth insight, the reservoir property model could be exported with stair step grid. It is easy and uh, quick to refine any local grid. You can also refine the grid around the wells. It can also be exported with truncated rectangular grid. And the pipe grid.
These three types of grids can be used in the third-party simulators, and the simulation result can be dynamically displayed with depth insight. We can see an example of the simulation result. At the initial stage, the model is right, which means the oil saturation is high. With the production of the oil, there are less and less oil around the wells. Through the changes of the color, we can see the oil saturation becomes lower. The pressure around the wells also discreet with the development and the production for the oil.